What is up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we are talking about 1986 Aliens from director James Cameron and starring Sigourney Weaver back as Ripley and uh, yeah just one of the greatest posters ever you know just aliens across the top with this giant xenomorph jaw sliming slobbering oh just nasty. But this movie is the movie that you get to meet where the aliens come from, right? Because the first movie's Alien, right? It's one alien. This movie has aliens, you know what I'm saying? Like, aliens, like, it's nutty. Uh, but you get to see Queen, right? Almost like a beehive. Queen of the hive here, laying all the eggs, is not happy that uh, she's been killing her kin. And uh, Sigourney is just trying to protect the poor Rebecca here, also known as Newt. And a lot of people, I think this movie sets you up into two camps. That one camp being, I hate the little girl, fuck her. And one camp being, protect the little girl at all costs, please. And that's kind of the side I was on, you know. Uh, I'm, once again, I said in the first movie, young Sigourney Weaver was kind of really doing it for me. Once again, you know, 36-year-old Sigourney Weaver in this movie really does it for me. I don't know what it is, but I, I think, to be perfectly honest, 74-year-old Sigourney Weaver today still does it for me, but uh, young Sigourney, man, really really does the damn thing. But she, the, the horror aspects of this movie, I hate, and every part of me, like, I hate the jump scares, I hate, like, the, the intense music, all of a sudden you're like, they're tiptoeing around with flashlights, and it's just got that like, eerie suspense, like, da -da 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 as you're fucking, or it's like just a pin, like, right, and all of a sudden you get that, yeah, yeah, and they jump out, and you're like, fucking, it, it, it just jars me, you know, like where I like to be watching a movie and I just feel comfortable the whole time. I prefer to laugh, uh, you know, <laughs> like just I prefer to watch rom coms where I'm 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 getting my feels going. I feel the heart, I feel the laughs, I feel the tears, you know, like I like to feel my emotions. With yeah, the horror movies, give me the other emotions, the fight or flight emotions, the survival emotions. But well, that's not necessarily what I want to be feeling when I'm watching a movie, especially when I'm watching movies late at night. You know, like I don't want to go to bed creeped out thinking about creepy things because then I dream about creepy things. So, like I want to go to bed calm, collective, you know, relaxed, laid back. So sometimes you're watching a crazy movie like this before bed, not the best idea, but. I watched it a little bit early, so I had some time to watch the Bear and Daredevil Netflix series now on Disney+. Plus. I keep calling it the Netflix Daredevil. I think it's just Daredevil, but, like, you guys get the point. I've been watching that, so I watched that after the movie. I had a little time before bed to, you know, readjust the clock, but it's not too scary. But just there is those suspenseful thriller parts. But parts like this, where poor Newt's, you know, separated from the group. And you're like, God damn, I know something's going to happen. And then she's in this water, and the fucking Xenomorph sneaks up behind her. And then later in the movie, the big, the queen one finds her underneath the grate. Keeps pulling up the grates, and poor Newt's got to go back and forth. And try and get away from this friggin' thing. And, you know, just the... She's a monster and all the other xenomorphs, like there's a bunch of xenomorphs, but then the queen one's ginormous, and then the final like battle with the big, you know, machine suit. For 1986, this movie holds up pretty damn well, I will say. It looks pretty damn great. Um, I, the bishop, the like synthesoid thing, there's always like one human that's an android in these, in the first movie and now in the second movie. I hate those androids. Uh, I don't trust the robots. I've seen iRobot. I don't trust robots. Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I gave this movie three and a half out of five stars. You know, a seven out of ten. I, I do think it's a solid movie. I probably will watch it again. Uh, I'm, I'm getting myself around to watching more horror movies and things that are more in the horror genre. Um, I will say I'm into aliens in general. But xenomorphs, not my thing. I just find them creepy. The big black heads, the big creepy claws, the spike tail, the slimy. They're always sliming. The acid blood, like, not into it. But, I will say, I am into the Predators. So, we will be watching more from the Alien vs. Predator uh, series, the Alien franchise, the Predator franchise. They connect in the middle, and then I think they separate again. 
but I will be running through all of those movies to finish out that franchise sooner rather than later. Um, pretty sure what's next, Aliens 3? Great. I don't think I've ever seen those. I think Aliens 2 is about as, for, as far as I've gotten in the Alien franchise. So some more first-time watches coming your way. Stay tuned for the channel. Some more uh, movie reviews will be coming to the channel. Stay tuned for the podcast, Comically Boston Podcast, every Monday and sometimes a bonus episode later in the week. But for sure, every Monday, there's a new one that just came out talking about Daredevil Born Again set photos. If you're interested in that, go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Big Cam. Please like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell if you don't want to miss the next video. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.